Immortals, I'm Jensen and welcome to the Silent Hill 1 First Person Remake. This is free on itch.io and it was developed by a streamer named Zero Trace Operative. It was also recommended to me by a longtime viewer, Scott's World. So I am going to play it right now. There is a reason that I haven't played it this far. This has been on my watch list for a long time and I wanted to wait until the game is fully complete before I actually play it in its entirety. Unfortunately, as you can see on the screen right at the bottom of this disclaimer right here, this is a fan project. It is incomplete and will not be continued, which is a little bit of a shame, but I completely understand that somebody completely made this for free. So we're going to check it out. We're going to see just how much it slaps. I'm super excited. I saw that Silent Hill 2 or 1 is getting an actual Konami remake coming this year, next year. This year. I think it's coming out this October. Or next year in October. Probably this year in October. Oh, really? There are violent and disturbing images in this game. I call Cap. Cap, this is Silent Hill. When has Silent Hill ever had any interpretation of violence or gore or anything like that? Even, even horror. Silent Hill is not famous for any of those things. It's basically the My Little Pony of horror. Filth and lies! This, by the way, was also one of the first games that I ever had on PlayStation 1, as well as Nightmare Creatures and 40 Wings. Why don't you go down to the comments if you're old enough to have a PlayStation 1? Tell me your first PlayStation game. In fact, no. Why don't you tell me what your first PlayStation game was, regardless of the generation? First PlayStation 2 game, first PlayStation 3 game, whatever your first PlayStation game was, just stick it in the comments and I'll, I'll rank it. I'll give it a ranking out of, let's say, 14 on the horror scale. Bold choice of soundtrack as well. I would have expected the whole You know, the Silent Hill 2 reprise? I suppose it is Silent Hill 1. It's probably pretty accurate. Okay, so we do actually have a child beside us. That would have been a really easy detail to miss, I imagine, in this intro. Had I not already played the ever-loving hell out of Silent Hill 1, probably would have missed that little detail. But the whole motivation for Silent Hill 1 is that we do get into some kind of accident and we're going to go look for our child, so whenever that's going to be is probably way off in the future, right? We're going pretty damn fast, actually. Looks like there's a barrier at the side of this road. There's probably a huge hill on the side of there, which I would probably extrapolate from incomplete data that we are at Silent Hill. Because Silent Hill is, in fact, a hill. Be it a law heavy ghost town or whatever you want to call it. Oh, why do I, I hear some? Oh, hello. Yo, it's good, my dude! Ah, that must be the police officer! I can't remember her name. Is it Payne? P-Y-N-E? Or maybe P-A-N-E? Like the glass thing? Where's she going? Well, we know where she's going, actually. She's following this road, most likely to Silent Hill. Since there have been no turn-offs. Strangely, I feel like Silent Hill was supposed to be an American location. But, the roads are much more New Zealand. And obviously not windy enough. Did she just get off her bike or something? I saw a motorbike on the side of the road there. Okay, child is sleeping. Is her name Maya, I think it is? I'm going to call her Maya anyway. I don't know, I haven't played Silent Hill until uh, um, uh, since I was like eight years old. Huh? What a game though, right? What a game. Child? Oh, I heard breathing. Maybe I was wrong. And you're like... Cigarettes, can we like maybe what's this thing on the dashboard right here floating? Maybe it's a uh, webcam, which probably explains exactly why we are having this video recorded and going up on you. Oh my god! I forgot that happens. I forgot that we hit a person and the child sees the bloodied, mangled corpse. <laughs> Zero trace oper uh, operative nailed. The PlayStation 1 feel of this game. It's first person and the graphics are obviously a lot better, but he nailed the actual feel of the game. Very good so far, and we just hit the main menu. Quite impressive. We've also had an interactive kind of introduction as well, which I'm, I don't know if Silent Hill 1 did. I don't think it did. I think it was just a text-based cutscene. Me, I was sitting there eight years old, knowing that two decades later I'd be a, a YouTuber. It's kind of voicing all the actors. Hey, child. You want to get some food? No, father. I'm too sleepy. That was Maya's voice. Cheryl, are you okay? Cheryl. Cheryl. No. No, not Cheryl. Cheryl. Who's Cheryl? Cheryl. All right. 
right into it, huh? I love the vignette around the video as well. That is so good. Okay, so our car is pretty banged up, which I don't want to spoil anything just yet. It's very in keeping with the lore of Silent Hill. Child? Child is gone. Cheryl! Cheryl! Cheryl, Cheryl, I'm sensing peril. Okay, what does the sign say? We are at Buckman Road. Also, the exit is 35 miles per hour, which I think is probably a little bit too fast to be going into this gigantic rock. Call me crazy, but I think the local council around here absolutely has uh, some garbage to start working out. Okay, there's a little side alley down there. I remember that Silent Hill was probably one of the, f no, definitely the first, and then was for a Yo, long time. How are you? The game that uh, actually fully allowed you to kind of go down alleyways and explore Hello? on your own. Is anyone out here? Please! I've crashed my car into a lady! I did a manslaughter! Okay, we can't go up these stairs. Hello? Anybody home? This is a big road for such a sleepy little village, isn't it? There's a fire extinguisher here. We could try and pee on it like a dog. Try and relieve ourselves. I'm gonna do that. Huh! Oh. That is so much better. Oh. There's nowhere to stop on the road, so I don't really have a choice but to just kind of piss in the middle of the street here. Alright, good. Oh, I forgot to zip up. <sighs> That's better. Good! Can't go around exposing ourselves to every passerby we see. We need help! We don't want to scare everybody off. Maybe later. Cheryl. Oh! Child! Cheryl! Cheryl, wait! I'm Stop. coming! Where Cheryl! Are you going? Where are you Cheryl. going? Cheryl! Come! Come, Cheryl! Damn it, Cheryl! She's always so disobedient. That's why we usually have the collar on her. Oh, we've got a... We've got a body! Cool! Zero Trace Operative... You've actually outdone yourself. Gotta be said, this is... The touches in this game are actually really cool. I even love how this kind of, like, compensation, every time you swing your head around, there's like a little, oh, my head is on a swivel. What's down here? Bins. And bins down there as well. So, I'm pretty sure, I'm just gonna pull this from memory, I'm pretty sure that the story of Silent Hill was that it was this kind of town that burned down way off in the past. And... There were lots and lots of... Beware of dog. There were lots and lots of murderers in Silent Hill. Oh, cool. Which kind of cursed the town when it burned down. So now everybody that enters kind of gets caught in this place. Cheryl! Is this, a, is this the dog or is this a person? Let's see if we can crouch down and maybe smell or lick the corpse to see. I don't really see anything. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Okay. Good to see. It's nice that we don't have a hut. I feel like I'm in a completely cinematic experience. People, people really hated the Silent Hill movies and I don't know why, they were so cool. The characters in them were so conceptually awesome. That scene where Daddy Big Sword picks up that lady and then pulls off her skin in one go. This looks like a dead end, doesn't it? Was absolutely phenomenal. No, it's not a dead end. Awesome. What? How did it get dark so fast? And the mannequin spider in the second movie, that was so cool as well. Oh no. Let's go back, see if that corpse is still there. Damn. Maybe, oh no. That's not good, we're stuck here. We're in the rust world, so. The way Silent Hill works is that it's on kind of like a day night cycle, obviously, like most worlds, but instead of it being kind of like, the sun goes up, sun goes down. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. It just kind of has a, uh, tw maybe like, 10 to 14 hour cycle with it's 14 hours of kind of like God, no. Cheryl! misty daylight. Oh no. That's bad. That's actually a really bad thing. That corpse right there. There is a corpse. And then at nighttime, everything turns into kind of like the curse for the murderers. I have never kind of like looked for the plot of this game out of my way, but it seems to me kind of like there was a, a daytime for the the people caught here who weren't necessarily murderers to kind of get around and do what they need to do to survive. And then at night time, it becomes the hell purgatory for all the murderers who are here in the in the first place. I could be completely wrong about this as well, by the way. This is just what I gathered from the, the story that, that I played. Oh! Oh! It's corpses everywhere. What the hell is this? What the fuck is going on here? Holy 
my god! What the hell are you? Oh no! No, 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 no! Go away from me! That actually just jump scared me! Oh! Oh, I screamed so hard I just gave myself a really light head! Okay, can't go in there. Oh, hello children! Uh, can we go anywhere else, please? I'm running away! I'm afraid! I'm too afraid! Oh, hello there ch- Oh no! I think he just punched me in the balls, actually. See this right here, this little plushie? I'll show you. This, what? <laughs> this is the color of D's nuts right now. Why is it see-through? It's not even green. The hell? Oh! <laughs> I was really getting into it too. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching this very, very short teaser of a game. My balls, I can't begin to describe how blue they are. Right up here, you're going to find a playlist for the one and done spookers that I've made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description, beside these blue balls, you're going to find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community personally and at your leisure. And until I make the next episode, or hopefully this game, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!